Hi, this is Laura Tucker with Really Entertainment News. Kelly Osborne tweeted out the phone number of the celebrity hairdresser who allegedly broke up her parents' marriage. Really? She tweeted, anyone looking for a cheap, chunky lowlights, a blowout, and a blowjob, call, and then left the phone number. Maybe it speaks to my character. I'm not sure. But I think that's extremely funny. And sure, it takes two people to cheat, so Ozzy is just as at fault for the affair itself. But sometimes, things happen after affairs, and one of the people just can't let go. I could see doing that to a person who infiltrated and destroyed my family in that way. A Starbucks employee mistook Helen Hunt for Jodie Foster. Really? I don't know why, but that really cracks me up. Helen walked into Starbucks and ordered a drink. She wrote on Twitter that she asked the barista if she wanted her name. She winked and said, we gotcha. She attached a photo of a cup that says Jody on it. After she tweeted it, Starbucks then apologized and said, we hope the drink was as good as it gets. And you know, when you look at them, they do look similar. And if I was much younger, I could see confusing them, but I can separate Mad About You from Silence of the Lambs. Kris Jenner has announced she is going to be changing her name back to Kris Kardashian. Really? I get that her marriage is over and not wanting to associate it with it, with it anymore, but then why not go back to her maiden name? And she didn't attain fame as Kris Kardashian, she attained fame as Kris Jenner. So why ditch the name of the second man she divorced and go back to the name of the first man she divorced who died several years ago? Her maiden name is Houghton, and she says that name just doesn't sound right. Maybe it's tied up in identities. Maybe she feels more like a Kardashian than a Jenner or a Houghton. The Price is Right did a special primetime special last night with former Survivor contestants. Really? My mom thought it was really hokey, and yeah, it was. But somehow it just kind of seemed to fit. Yeah, they were feigning excitement over the prizes and the games, but I was just happy to see Boston Rob again. After four seasons of Survivor and two of The Amazing Race, I miss seeing him on CBS. It was great to see Joe Anglum as well. That combined with his interview of Ty Trang after the finale, finale last week is telling me they really need to find a place for this guy at CBS. And Boston Rob too, for that matter.